Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Keyboard Lobster 92. Thanks for the suggestion, Keyboard Lobster. You asked, why do some sinks have a small hole near the top? It's one of those things you don't think about until you're brushing your teeth at 1 a.m. and suddenly notice a random hole staring back at you like it knows your secrets. Is it just decoration? A mistake? A forgotten design feature from ancient plumbing scrolls? Stick around as we uncover the unsung hero of your bathroom sink, the mysterious hole, right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with what you're looking at. That small hole is usually near the back wall of the sink bowl, just under the faucet, and it's officially called an overflow. That's it. No dramatic Latin name. Just overflow. Very on brand for plumbing. It's the sink's emergency backup system. When your main drain can't keep up, maybe it's clogged with toothpaste and shame, that little hole steps in and says, don't worry, I got this. Water reaches the hole, slips into a hidden channel inside the sink and drains away safely like nothing happened. It's basically the quiet co-worker who fixes everything while Steve from marketing takes the credit. Now, the main reason the overflow hole exists is to stop your sink from becoming a miniature indoor pool. Picture this. You plug the drain, fill the sink with water to wash your face or soak something, and then you forget about it. Fifteen minutes later, your bathroom is reenacting a low-budget remake of the Poseidon Adventure, and your sink is the villain. That's where the overflow hole saves the day. As the water rises, it reaches the hole and drains away through a secondary passage that connects to the main drain pipe underneath. No drama, no screaming, just quiet heroism. It's like your sink is saying, I knew you'd mess this up, so I made a backup plan. And honestly, thank you, sink. You know us too well. Here's how the magic happens. Don't worry, no plumbing license required to understand this. The overflow hole leads to a narrow tunnel built inside the body of the sink itself. When water flows into it, gravity pulls it down this hidden route, which connects to the main drain pipe further down. It bypasses the main basin entirely, like a VIP water slide for emergency situations. There are no moving parts, no buttons, no high-tech sensors. It just works, silently and reliably, using basic physics. Honestly, if everything in life functioned like the overflow hole, we'd all be doing a lot better. Imagine if relationships had an overflow hole. This conversation is getting heated. Let's divert the drama down the overflow and circle back when we've had snacks. You might have noticed the overflow hole always seems to be placed at the back of the sink, near the top. That's not random. Designers put it there because that's the last point water reaches before spilling over. It's the sink's version of a smoke alarm that waits until just the right moment to go off. Except this one doesn't screech in your ears while you're holding a piece of burnt toast. Placing the hole high up also gives you as much usable space as possible. You still get a full sink's worth of water, but you also get a built-in panic button for when things go south. Plus, being directly across from the faucet means it can start working the moment water starts backing up. 
It's like positioning the goalie directly in front of the net. No one's scoring on that sink. Now here's where it gets a little wild. Not every sink has an overflow hole. In fact, some modern designs intentionally leave them out because they want to look sleek, clean, and minimalist. Sure, it looks fancy, but no overflow means no safety net. You're living on the edge. If the drain clogs and you leave the tap on, it's game over. Water will happily slide over the rim of your stylish, overflow-free sink and ruin your expensive bathroom floor while your cat watches and silently judges you. So if you're shopping for a new sink and thinking, wow, this one is really beautiful, pause and ask yourself, is beauty worth the risk of a flood every time I multitask badly? Probably not. When your sink is draining normally, the overflow hole still helps behind the scenes. It lets air into the system so water flows out more easily. Without that air, a vacuum can form and your sink drains like molasses in winter. So technically, the overflow is multitasking, backup drainage during emergencies, airflow assistant during regular use, and it does both jobs without ever asking for recognition, which is more than we can say for Kyle from accounting. So, next time you're staring into your sink and that little hole catches your eye, know this. It's not a weird defect or design mistake. It's your sink's secret superhero, ready to save your bathroom from your most forgetful moments. It might not glow. It might not beep. It doesn't even get a cover. But it's one of the most quietly brilliant features in your bathroom. A tiny hole that stops big problems. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new about those tiny little holes on your sink, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.